Welcome to Reality and Talks. My name is Gary McGuey, high school practice leader for Franklin Covey Education. Each week, we're here to take on the real challenges of teen life. Let's talk. Our topic this week, failure is fertilizer. Hmm. Well, let's meet our Reality Teens panel and listen to their thoughts related to this topic. Team, welcome everybody. Welcome Jackson. Welcome Ashna. Welcome Arhe. So team, this, 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 this title, Failure is Fertilizer. Uh, what are your initial thoughts when you hear this title? Um, when I first hear failure is fertilizer, I think of growing. So like when everyone f- uh, first thinks of failure, they think they just give up and they don't continue. But the way I think of it, and I think that everyone else should is you look at it in a positive way. Like, um, yeah. That's great, Jackson. Thank you. Um, I think that you made some really great points there, but um, I also think that it it helps you grow and like failing, you should be able to learn from your mistakes and from your fail- failures and that should help you become better at whatever you're doing. Nice. I agree with both Ashna and Jackson, you know, failure, it should be this positive thing that helps you grow. And as the name suggests, you know, failure is a fertilizer for life. When you think about, you know, every company and every leader in our world, and even you at home, we've all made mistakes and we've all made some big things that we think, Jesus, I really failed. I'm not going to do good, but we should take that negativity and that failure and really turn it into something that's going to change our lives and take us to a new place that's going to really change the way we see things and maybe even lead us to new paths that we could have never found if it not were for this one mistake. That's great. So I'm hearing you say that I'm mean, going hear the word, be positive about it. Don't look at it as a negative. Don't sound like it, it's a finality. Like I failed, I'm done, I'm doomed, but, but use it, continue to use it to, to flourish. It's, you know, um, would any of you mind sharing some some maybe past experience where you've actually have gone through this and maybe you had a a, a somewhat of a, a failing experience and did not quit and and persevered and demonstrated resilience and what was the the, the positive impact on that um so an experience that i had once was so i've always been an a student and so one nine weeks i had a b and instead of just uh giving up after failure i decided that i was going to push since my uh semester grade was what counted towards my gpa so i just pushed and continued to push to get a higher grade so i could raise it back up to an a and keep my 4.0 so i did that i studied hard i did started doing really good on tests and then i pulled it up and i just kept looking at it in a positive way and then it was just up from there nice um Mine will be about the same thing about grades. Whenever I was like little, we came from like another country. And so my parents didn't really know how to speak English very well. And so I've just always been really bad at English and especially the subject, I've just never been really good at it. And ever since I was little, I've been getting terrible, terrible grades in English. And then one day in fourth grade, my teacher was giving me this pep talk and from that i i learned a lot from that pep talk and i just was thinking about how like i've always been bad but i need to think that i can do good now and i can get better and from then on i've been working so hard to be really good at english and i have gotten those grades up similar to ashna you know I used to live in Columbia for about three years. I left when I was in, I want to say second grade. I came back when I was in fifth grade to the United States. And um, let's just say my grades weren't that great. You know, I've I've always been used to being a straight A student, one of the best in my class. But when I returned here, the language barrier and just education being a little slower here, I suffered a lot. And, you know, I didn't really look at it as I'm not going to pass the year. I just kind of took it and, you know, I said to myself, I'm going to do better for next time and I'm just going to keep pushing and I'm not going to let this stop me or anyone stop me from doing what I want to do because I have my mindset on succeeding and 
I really don't care what everyone else has to say. Maybe they're going to tell me, mm, maybe you shouldn't do that. No, I'm going to keep pushing. And here we are today, you know, back being a straight A student and thriving more than ever. <laughs> Those are three great stories, team. You know, let, let me ask you this. What if, I mean, all of you, I'm, I'm hearing you persevere. You didn't give up. What if I'm a student who, you know what, I, 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 I give up on things a lot of times, you know, and I just, you know, I, I quit sometimes. What, what would you, what advice would we suggest or provide to, to students who, you know, I heard Asha, you talked about having those pep talks, you know, what, what would you say guys, if you're going to be my, my, my coach, um, what would you might suggest that would help me? Um, I would say, uh, even if you like, you just give up, you feel like you fail, you're, you're negative all the time. I feel like you should try your hardest for at least like now to see what you can do with that failure and what can become of it. Nice. I feel like if you fail at something, um, I feel like later on you're going to regret not trying to get better at it because it'll become harder to get better at it like the longer you wait. And so it's just better to just try and then you have your entire life to get good at something. So why not try to get good at this? Nice. Whenever I try to coach other friends of mine on failure and you know, overcoming that feeling that mm, I failed once, I. I'm not going to do this again. What if people make fun of me for doing this? What if my family makes fun of me? What if, you know, society looks at it like, oh, you're a failure. Stop it. Just move on. Do something new. I tell them something that one of my uh, assistant principals at my middle school told us, and that was, I want to see you guys fail. And he said this because he wanted us to know that failure is the building blocks of everything that is good. Behind every technology in life, behind every process, behind every, even the clothes you're wearing, everything started with some mistake, even if we don't know it. Some of the greatest people in life, some of people you might know too, they've made mistakes and they have built on from those mistakes to become the person they are today. So take mistakes and failures as a way to build your life and build who you are as a person. You know, just yeah. add it on to your, hey, I did this. Let me not do it again. You guys are inspiring me right now. I feel like knocking down some doors after listening to you right now. I, you know, I think of, uh, there's some very famous people. Michael Jordan. I think most people know Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Uh, Walt Disney failed mi miserably many times. Oprah Winfrey. I mean, these are, are, are tr you know, tremendous successful people, but... You know, I, I think sometimes we see success as a smooth path. It's from here to here and we're successful. And I'm hearing you guys say, no, 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 it's it's not smooth. And there's going to be some obstacles and some hurdles. And and it's it's our opportunity to to continue to learn and to keep growing from this. Is that fair to say? Yeah. So in leaving this this discussion here today, because we really want our our audience to hopefully there's and there probably already is some takeaways. Just listen to your brilliance right in that. But if you say here's the one thing, I would suggest team. Here's the one thing I would suggest to really work on this this piece around grit, resiliency, perseverance, learning from failures. What what would you say? Um, I would say, uh, like, it's going to be like, you're going to, if you're going to go through some rough, uh, your rough places in time, uh, but you just got to keep pushing through because at the end of the day, you're only human. Everyone's going to make mistakes. Everyone, you know, humans make mistakes. So you just got to keep pushing. And then all, all, like he was saying, all the, uh, all famous people, most of them went through failures, but they just kept pushing. They didn't give uh didn't didn't give up. So yeah, just keep pushing. Thank you. I think after the dark, there's always some light. So even if you don't become really good at what you're trying to be good at, at least you tried and you learned something from it. 
And I think that's the best thing that you can get. Thank you, Ashna. I agree with both Jackson and Ashna. And if there's one thing you can take away from this is that even if you don't realize it, everyone makes mistakes and it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to fail sometimes. It's not the end of the world. And like Ashna says, you know, even in some darkness, you're, you'll somehow find the light. You'll find yourself out of the place you're in. And that's the beauty of things is that no matter how hard it is, it's always going to get better, but you have to keep pushing. If you just give up tugging on that boat that's falling from a hill, you're never gonna get it up. It's gonna slide back down. So keep pulling it and just keep pushing. Even if it feels like you're not doing anything, that boat is going to get eventually to the top of the hill. That's great. Guys, so thank, thanks for sharing your, your passion, your wisdom, your brilliance. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt, what you just shared with us will benefit many people. Thank you so much. Um, and for our audience, if you like what you just heard, please subscribe to our weekly reality team talks. Thanks everybody and have a great day. As we know, it was some great information was shared today, but we're, we're offering this new um, summary. We're calling it reality team checks. So we're going to have to summarize our discussions and then also some thoughts moving forward for application. So let's just summarize what we heard today with failure is fertilizer. First of all, let's, let's treat failure as a positive life learning experience, not a negative experience, right? Secondly, failure is the foundation for success. Let's use failure as a growth opportunity. Success is not linear. We will have good days and bad days. The last thing we heard from the team is that quitting is the only sure way to feel. So thoughts to consider moving forward this month. Look for opportunities to grow. When we're sensing we're failing on a goal or a project or an assignment, don't quit. Just remind ourselves that greatness is within. In the words of Yoda, there's no try. You do or you don't. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to Reality Team Talks on YouTube, Apple, or Spotify, and leave a review or comment. We'd love to hear from you.